Hello again, everyone. I had gotten some requests to compare some leathers, uh, especially the ones that I had recently unboxed. Um, so this is for for the one requester who had requested a comparison of the Hummingbird and the uh, Tea House Chai by Cheek Sparrow. But I also wanted to compare some other leathers so that um, everyone could kind of get a better sense for what they're going to be getting with each leather. So with these two, um, it's actually, don't worry, I'm going to compare the two leathers, but it's actually very hard to do that with the folio because the folio is going to be a little bit thicker than the normal leather because it is, um, well, it's folded over and there are several layers. So you've got, you have a layer going this way on the inside and the pocket layer on top of that. And then you have the other layer on the outside, which is the one that's folded over. So, um, and I think that these are actually thinned before they're made into these folios. So it's not really a good comparison. So what I'm gonna do, I do have another hummingbird uh, TN. So I'm going to show that and it is full of stuff. So I'm going and I didn't really want to totally empty out everything. So first off, uh, before I compare the thicknesses of the leathers there, I wanted to show you the difference in the two different hummingbirds. So this is a narrow deluxe hummingbird and this is obviously the B6 Slim Folio. Uh, and this one I purchased from Jet Pens. It's one of the first Chic Sparrows that I bought. Um, it may even be the first Chic Sparrow I bought, but not directly from Chic Sparrow. Uh, so this may be an older uh, run of this particular Mockingbird leather, but you'll see it is much shinier, much shinier. And much darker and I actually think that this older one is less likely to scratch because I can this I've carried this is my travel journal so I have actually carried this around quite a bit and it hasn't really gotten that scratched there's a few little marks but some of these actually came with it um, like this one down here but you can definitely see there's also also a lot more variation in this than there is in this this one's pretty uniform in color but if you look in the light and it's kind of hard to see here with indoor light and we've got a dark gray day today so I'm trying to get you as best I can in the light but uh, this is more uniform but if you can see in the light there are some some uh, lines and things that come out when you see it in direct light so that's the back of it that's the back of this but this one is certainly much lighter and more matte. And as far as thickness, I don't know, because again, this one is probably uh, modified somewhat in its thickness. But this one, you can see here, it's pretty thin. So let's do the comparison between the chai, or the tea house chai, and the hummingbird. So it looks like the, the tea house chai is actually a little bit thicker than the hummingbird. And this one is obviously a more flexible leather. Uh, and again, with the folio, it's a little stiffer because of all the layers they've used. But with just a single layer, it's very flexible. And this one is still flexible, but it has a little bit more structure to it than this one does. Okay, so that's for the request. And then I am going to also compare this chai to the what is now the Darcy leather or I'm sorry which used to be the Darcy leather and is now the Austin leather in the buttered rum so and these <laughs> to be fair these are somewhat older and aged already um, this one is older this is a b6 slim and this one's actually empty um, this B6 Slim is older than this Passport, also in buttered rum. Uh, you, part of the way you can tell that is you have the new matching stitching on this Passport, whereas the B6 Slim has the white stitching. So they've both been scratched up and kind of dinged up and have patinaed a little bit. Um, 
So I would expect this to become a little bit more dark like this at the very least, but it remains to be seen. So far this has just been in a cabinet for me, so I have not used it. So uh, we'll see. And, and this leather apparently patinas really well when you handle it. So the more I handle it, it'll probably get darker. So I'll go ahead and line these up here and show you the thicknesses. So it looks like the tea house chai is just a little bit thinner than the and the Darcy, which is what this one is, now Austin butter drum. So, and as far as flexibility, th again, it's not really fair because this one, it has been used quite a bit and has some more malleability. It's not as stiff as it once was. And this one actually right now, as it is new, feels much stiffer than my butter drum. And then I'm, so I'm gonna put that butter drum aside and then I'm gonna show you the passport. And again, it's a little bit thicker the butter drum is a little bit thicker than the chai. Okay, and again, this one's pretty malleable for being a butter drum because I have I have used it as a wallet. Um, I'm not currently using it as a wallet, so it's so it's currently stored with some of the inserts that I have in here. But it is uh, definitely softer than it once was. Okay. So I think that's it for the chai. Let's see, eventually these are all gonna to come toppling down, but that, I'm gonna leave that stuck there. But I also wanted to compare, so this is my new Americano folio. And I've actually put a Claire uh, pen closure on here. And then I forgot that I had, I'm gonna show that to you again when I do the comparisons, but I forgot that I had a sample of the Americano that I had gotten. And as you can see, I hope you can see, again, it's a little bit hard because of the lighting, that the sample is much, much darker than the folio I got. And it's very clear, I, I requested a red tone to the leather, and I definitely think they did that given this other sample and given how really close it is to Claire. I mean, obviously these are two completely different leathers, but I would say that the shine on both, well, the shine's probably a little bit sim uh, dissimilar. I would say that the Americano at this point is probably a little bit more glossy and shiny than the uh, Claire in the Outlander collection but you can see they both have they both have a red tone to them. So they're actually very similar. And here is another, this is a personal Claire. And they're super similar. Obviously, so so the Claire is really soft. It's never really been a stiff leather. It's been a thick leather. And again, this is not really a fair comparison because of the folio being multiple layers. But even with the multiple layers, the Claire is quite a bit thicker. Okay, and you can see on the pen fob, or the pen closure, they clearly thinned out the leather. So that's not really a true comparison with this one. But for color it is. Okay, now I'm gonna put those aside and then I wanted to compare this with the Evanwood leather in the, um, oh, what is it? Anyway, these were the E-class, but I'm, I'm forgetting the leather name <laughs> as we go. But it is the Evanwood color in an E-class. And you can see that the Evanwood is a little bit darker. The shine is probably, I would say, about the same. Maybe the Evanwood is a little bit shinier. And this is a first run Evanwood, but I do actually have a couple of others to compare. So this is a, so this is an A6. Enchanted Woods, that's what the leather is called, Enchanted Woods. So this is Evanwood Enchanted Woods, and so is this. So this is from the second run, and this is a B6 Evanwood, because it has the stitching all the way around. 
and it's a little bit more matte. And I would say that for these two, the shine is very similar, but I would say that the second run Evanwood is a little bit more matte. And then this uh, pen fob or pen closure that I have on here is actually the most recent run of Evanwood. So that is much shinier and much darker, I would say. Uh, it's probably it's probably about the same darkness and, well, maybe even still a little darker than the first run. And that one is shinier than the Americano. And you can definitely see with these two together that this has a reddish tone by comparison to the Evanwood. Okay, so that was it. Just a quick comparison of those two leathers. I do plan to do some more comparison videos in future, but that just came up because I had just gotten these and I was looking at how similar or dissimilar they were to other similar colors. So actually if I were to put these and then put Claire over here as well, you can see, and I would actually put them in this order or maybe even, I would say in this order from more redder and warmer tone to less red and um, cooler tone. And yeah, I didn't really show you the inside of the leather, but I won't do that today because we won't be able to see the inside of this leather because it's a folio anyway. All right, so that's that. And I hope that helps you figure out the differences between these leathers and colors and was useful for you. All right, feel free to like and or subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.